Now the black flag is about to be given to Charlie Schwartz officially. He has been told that he has been black flagged early in the race. He has either ignored the black flag or chooses to uh, want to continue to race, which I don't think the officials want. Must be said in his credit though, he's come through from the back of the field. Combs, still sitting in his car, becoming somewhat perturbed as to what has actually happened. Now, Schwartz banging his hand on the steering wheel. We'll wait to see if he puts his helmet back on again. No, he throws it around and starts fighting and has hit one of the officials by the look of it. We're going to have a very bad scene here. Here's Schwartz out of the car and into the officials. And Schwartz is... This is a terrible sight for Speedway Racing with Schwartz, with officials being calmed and this is what Speedway doesn't really need. Schwartz being restrained now. And one of the officials is still down on his back on the ground. And Coombs has driven right over. And now we have one of the other American Coca-Cola team drivers has come over, Jackie Hewitt, to try and... And we have one of the officials has been injured down here on the edge of the infield and a very hot situation with Charlie Schwartz. Jack Hewitt is now trying to hold back Schwartz. We also have an argument has erupted on the infield with one of the pit crew members who was about to be, or someone about to be erupted and thrown bodily over the safety fence and told to leave the grounds. And I wouldn't argue, fella, because I think he's about to be hoisted over the second fence. Charlie Schwartz has climbed up on his car and I don't think has won too many friends here tonight. Jack Hewitt again is doing nothing whatsoever for the sport. I saw Johnny Pearson and the other American drivers race across but Hewitt in what he has done he has just excluded himself. Now, Gene Welsh is trying to pull back Charlie Schwartz, uh, pull back Jack Hewitt, rather, who has become involved in an argument with officials once again. Hewitt has been restrained by Welsh. Meanwhile, the regulation about untying your harness seems to have gone out the window because Alan Butcher has just climbed out of his car and is making some adjustments to his engine. Brian Norman has broken his harness and is standing up in his car. Hewitt is already out of contention, I would feel, through doing exactly what Schwartz was black flag for. And one of the officials who appeared to be uh, injured as a result of the ensuing struggle there with uh, one of the Americans is still being treated on the edge of the racetrack. Talking to Peter Gerbiel, the promoter in the interest of safety. And the race is going to be, declare the race. And the finishing positions will be, will be uh, given in just a few seconds time. Well, a wild and woolly affair as teams racing. Now we have another of the, um, people who want to become involved for the price of admission they want to be heroes and this time he also is being helped back across the fence perhaps it's not um, the nicest thing for, for the sport but then again people who continually want to remonstrate there's only one way to treat them. 